So, so yeah, the people, um, so basically the industries have grown colder and more focused on money, um, but the kind of, and the kind of people running them is, 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 are unsuitable for the jobs, therefore. They're not into philanthropy. They're not into product innovation or design. Um, they are the ones who, you know, they belong in different types of jobs. They're not supposed to be running tech companies or computer companies, and they're not supposed to run companies where you've got to be very focused on the job now, you know, very focused. I mean, focused on your task in the R&D lab because I've done research, um, I've got a certain industry that I'm really passionate about, as I, as I said, and this guy is, an, is, 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 is a world authority in this, but as I said, I won't, I'll, I won't disclose the, the kind of product specificality yet, but, but, um, but we've had problems with functionality of the equipment, basic functionality, um, like, per, Amateur research has been conducted, you know, real-time amateur research, um, unpaid research. We're not talking about, you know, labs where commercial products are tested and supposedly given star ratings and, and you know, and, and they said, you know, they're the pick of the year because I have no faith in those commercial um, testing labs. I'm a person who believes in the old amateur spirit of things, you know, you know, you know, like what on what goes on in the seventies and in the sixties, where things were often patched together on a on a shoestring budget, because the innovators, the nerds and the geeks, are the ones who are the most resourceful. They care about the environment, and that's another thing. Like this particular product is my main passion, and 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 his main passion. And I know there's people around the world who care about this product too, but but the industry has rejected them all, and it's actually discouraged them to the point where they just won't. They just totally shut up in their houses in, and they don't own any homes, but I won't go into the, in the great detail here. Um, but basically, it's affecting uni grads, it's affecting anything that's got a brain, that's anything that's, that wants to help. Because this, this money thing is really intoxicating to the power mongers at the moment. And it's really done there. It's really made them do... I don't understand. It's, it's like... It's so, it's so weird, you know. They, the money is like a narcotic, it's like they've shot up some kind of drug in their, in their stream and it's affecting them and they don't care about anything but themselves or their, or the people that, that they're in their, that are in their, the, you know, they're in, in their group, you know, they don't care about anything bigger or smaller than them, they, it all, it all, and they form the majority, unfortunately, and they haven't learned to be kind-hearted, they haven't learned from the people who, like, you know, Bill Gates or any of the other wonderful innovators of, from the past, because you know they gave us the legacy technology and the over commercialization of, of equipment like computers um, has basically is, is still running on leg legacy technology and sort of, it's almost like they've stolen the song and they've corrupted it. They've corrupted the technology and made it plasticky. They made it. They've added more chemicals. They've added a certain amount of simplicity with, 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 with confounding complexity. You know, like, the product I'm referring to is a product that everyone uses and it's, it's so badly corrupted that it, it actually takes, for a simple act, it takes, like, it's too much effort. So the people who design the, the equipment is actually are the people who own the companies, the, the, you know, the IQ range is, is the 90 to 110 bending, the regular types of people that, and they're the ones who are, are implicating this mess. And then of course, they're the ones who use the equipment as well, and then when they use it, it's like they're com commenting on each other's work, on the work of their own kind. And you hear them, and the common terms I hear, is like, oh, technology this, technology that, as in negative refer references to technology. Oh, technology is so bad, it's so rotten, it's so horrible, it's alienating, it's cold, it makes people angry, and that's truth, it makes people angry. It's not designed with passion or any integrity anymore. It's designed for the for the dollar bill and that's what the dollar bill makes equipment out to be. An absolute joke and it's not making me laugh. And it's not making a lot of people laugh. There's a lot of people who want who want you know, it could range from anything, computers, gaming equipment, um, it's everywhere. You know, you can't, 
thing is I'm trying to create some kind of cohesion here, but I don't seem to be getting any replies to it because people who are in, you, you're into you are geeks and, and nerds don't seem to have a voice. I'm trying to get a voice for them because they don't want to speak. Um, it's really sad. It's that bad. That's how depreciated they feel to the point of depression. It's so awful. Um, this is part two.